This is, I'm going to show you how to do first law of thermodynamics problems here. Um, and we already know the first law of thermodynamics, right? It's, it's the first law states that energy is conserved, okay? Um, and the only thing we're going to add to this is that heat is also energy, right? So kinetic energy and potential energy can be turned to heat. So for example, when a car stops, it, it has a little thing that grabs this disc here. This is a rotor, okay? And it grabs that thing and that gets hot because physically that those asbestos um, disc shoes, right, are grabbing that steel uh, plate there. And then it's actually making the, the atoms physically vibrate as it spins by, right? So uh, it's, and it doesn't take much cleverness to turn kinetic and potential energy into heat. Um, but you can also turn heat into kinetic energy and potential energy. This takes cleverness. Um, and that's what we're going to, that's where we're headed here is, is how you do this, right? Uh, but this first thing here, where this is where we're going to, you know, we're going to look at kinetic and potential energy turning into heat. And you can do all of, all of that can happen. You can turn all of a certain amount of kinetic and potential energy into heat. Um, it turns out you can't turn all of a certain amount of heat into kinetic and potential energy. And why that is, well, well that's the subject of this, this chapter as well. Okay. Um, so car brakes, I already mentioned this, right? The car brakes um, get hot. And, and it basically the idea is that the, the car's kinetic energy um, turns into heat. And if you notice, there's little holes in this. That's to let air through here so that this thing can actually cool itself. Um, if you descend a long grade, like Cabbage Hill in Eastern Oregon, uh, if you descend that grade and use the brakes all the way down and let the engine coast, um, you can actually boil your brake fluid, especially if it's old brake fluid that's absorbed a lot of moisture. Um, that stuff can boil and you can lose your brakes. Um, that way. So the, what, what they recommend, of course, is that you use your engine to slow yourself down. Um, that's because your engine has an active cooling. It's got a radiator and a heat, a water pump and a fan to cool it, right? Um, bike brakes, right? Uh, the old fashioned bike brakes would grab the bike wheel about here, right? Um, most of us have these, right? Uh, caliper brakes that grab the wheel itself. Well, that makes this rim pretty hot. If you go down, if you descend a thousand feet, two thousand feet with your uh, mountain bike, it can make your rim so hot that your tires either pop because the pressure gets too high, or or maybe even worse, right? You can melt the glue that holds. Uh, fancy tires are glued to the rim, right? So that could be bad, right? Uh, a hammer. Uh, when you hit a nail with a hammer, the the head of the hammer gets hot, and literally it gets hot physically because it's it's being vibrated by that the the, um, the hammer, right? Um, you can ask me the story. Uh, uh, I have a rather embarrassing story where um, I decided it would be uh, smart to wear shorts while putting a roof on. And um, yeah, ask me that story. I'll, I'll tell it to you in person. And I've got a cool demo. Okay. Um, here's just a picture. Notice that the disc brakes here have holes in the side. That's so the air can go in there and then it'll come out here. Um, as this thing spins, so it's got a, a active air cooling. Um, this is a bike. These are disc brakes on a bike. They not only do you, this thing here, of course, can get super super hot, but it's not attached to the wheel, so it's not or not attached to the tire, so it's not a big deal. Um, so, and, and these things are actually better brakes too. Um, and then again, here's our disc brakes like that. But the, the way these things work is they've got a little hydraulic ram that pushes a brake shoe against this disc. Um, and those shoes are made of asbestos. So if you change your own disc uh, shoes, and it's not hard to do, do wear a mask because it is asbestos. It's like one of the few ways, few ways that we can now experience the joy that is asbestos in our lives. Okay, so this problem here, Myron Wonder Game. Figure that one out, huh? It's got to be a pun. Uh, let's, has to do with baseball. Let's this 54.1 kilogram weight, okay, fall, and it's going to fall some distance. And of course, we want to find that height such that uh, 872 grams of water, that's less than a liter, right, of water raises from 20 degrees to 30 degrees. Right, and this is a person, you know, a very lightweight person, right, hundred and some pound person, um, and that's the question, right? So uh, let's see. I think what we're going to do here is we're going to say that this mgh here is going to equal this m cat, 
right? This thing is going to heat up, right? So MCAT equals MGH, right? And then this mass is 0.872 kilograms, right? And this C is 41, whoops, why can't I talk and say numbers? This is 4186 joules per kilogram degrees Celsius. That's what this number is there, right? Okay, and then the change in temperature is 10 degrees Celsius. Imagine how good these videos would be if I had like good handwriting. Okay, and then that equals uh, this mass over here, the 54.1 uh, kilograms times 9.81. Right, and then that's times H, which we're trying to find, right? So let's figure out this side here. The amount of heat is 0 0.872 times 4186 times 10. And that's 35,000 joules, 35, 501.92 joules, right? Equals 54.1 times 9.81. H. So I guess what I want to do is divide this by 54.1 and 9.81. So divided by 9.81, divided by 54.1, and I get 68.77 meters. Right? So I would say that this is even 68.8 is my guess. Yeah? Okay. So that's that's all there really is to these problems. There's a couple more example problems, so if you're not sure, you can work through those. But the idea is just basically either either uh, MGH and or right uh, one half mv squared turns into MCAT, or you know we could write an exotic one where it's like ML, or even better, you know we could have one where it's like you know we we melt it and and then we we uh, raise the temperature or something like that. But the idea is mechanical work turning into heat. Mechanical work turning into heat of some kind. Yay. Yippee skippy.